So this is Trinette Duncan and Neil Duncan, and we're the owner and founder of Lab Mill Body Care. It's Kellen, and today on Diversified Game, man, this is homegrown because it's right here in Palm Beach, South Florida, however you want to say, the good old US of A. I have the Duncans, and they're going to give us the game on their business, Lav Mill. You see the products right there. Those products are not just beautiful visuals. You can actually buy them, but let's get the game on how this all started. So welcome, y'all. How are y'all doing today? Very good. Thank you for having us. Good, so good. I could start, the name Nav, LAVMIL was uh, coined from the acronym, my son and daughter, Mijan and Micah. So I took the first three initial from both their names uh, to create the name LAVMIL. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the reason why I did that is because I wanted to create a, a brand uh, based on the level of love that I have for my children and the love that I have for the product that we're creating. So the acronym was coined from the children's name and the products that we make definitely represents that. We promote uh, healthy skin, healthy uh, usage of body products. And we're excited about where we are today as a company growing. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, the, um, you know, the product um, what was like the first step? I'm sure, you know, when you, you wanted to create this, family, friends, close people, you know, said, hey, you really want to do what? There's a lot of those types of companies. But, you know, what were like the first steps on making this? Did you make it yourself? Did you go to a factory? Give us the game. So I'll give you a little background in terms of how it all started. I've always been an individual uh, who experiments with body products. Whenever I buy anything, I always like to add something else to it. I never just actually use what was purchased. So I've been doing that for several years. And I, I saw where my niece kept asking me to make her more stuff, body oil specifically at the time. So during the pandemic, I started experimenting more with handmade soap, uh, which is what we have here today. And these are all made from natural oils and plant-based products. So Neil, being a Jamaican as well, I also use the product in his hair. He has locks. And this is entirely what he uses on his skin. And on his hair, we made body oils as well. Everything is locally made. We only use plant-based oils and butters. Uh, there's nothing artificial other than maybe a little percentage of fragrance oil. And we do add some... Um, chemicals to create the soap for saponification. You want to say anything? Okay. Well, I want, to put a dis I want to put a disclaimer real quick before Neil, because I got a question for Neil. But yeah. some folks, are gonna, those of you who are in the minority who watch the show and don't listen, you have to see, I mean, you know, this is man to man, but his skin is glowing. I don't know <laughs> if he was just born like that. Because, you know, if, if he broke down and started dancing, you might say, hey, is that Chris Brown? Uh, you know, not, so I just want to put it out there. Everybody might not, you know, if you're ugly out there, it might help you, but it might not get you to that status. Just got to throw that out there, Neil, because you, yeah, you, your, your stuff is a little different. Let me ask you, Neil, this is a million dollar question people ask every night. You know, you're working with your wife. Please tell us how you guys have a system for that. I do it with my wife and people say, how do y'all do it? I say, it's a lot of arguing, but you might have a better process. So how do you, you know, do that? Yeah, her way, because this is what she loves doing. It's not, I don't see her as working. When she's working, she's around the computer and stuff. But when she's doing this, it's like she's in her own work. So I don't see her working. She's really enjoy doing this. She loves doing this. So. I just get out of her way and stay in the corner until she called me like, get me that, get me this, get me that, get me this. <laughs> and I, that's how I work with it. He's that's a muscles. He's a muscles in the business. And he's a very helpful 
Uh, he does promote the, the product a lot wherever he's going. He's always doing a verbal promotion and he has gotten a lot of customers for me that way as well. Kudos to him for that. So, um, and he's right. I do have a, a lot of passion and love for what I'm doing. And the reason for that is because when I was growing up, I grew up in an environment where you're promoted to be of a lighter shade. I think our natural complexion is really beautiful and we just need to enhance what we have and maintain what we have. And by using natural products is one of the ways of doing that. So I love what I do, but I also believe that we need to promote healthy skin versus artificial beauty more than what we're seeing in, in, in the industry today. Man, the natural is such a, I mean, I, I, I don't know what this new foundation every woman has that makes their skin glow. All I know is at the end of the day, or you catch them in the morning, they don't look like that. So I'm all for the natural <laughs> too. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. My wife is from Cameroon, West Africa, and I don't, I don't need all that. Like, she, you're enough. So I definitely appreciate y'all pushing that. And Neil, you gave a, a great answer, though. You said you get out of her way. That's worth the listen right there, folks. If you want to be married, stay married, you want peace, learn how to get out of each other's way. You don't have to be on top of somebody. Um, now, you guys have a beautiful website, and, you know, the links will be in the description box. Is this yet to be on Amazon or is that even an option um, for you guys to go on Amazon? Ironically, we just got approved to uh, sell on Walmart online, not in the store, walmart.com. So we're in the process, literally like a week ago, I started uploading the pictures and everything. So that should be available in the next two weeks or so, but we're primarily pushing it on lavmail.com or Instagram. You can you know, access it there as well. So we got it in, in some local stores. And local stores, yeah. Yeah, we have it in uh, a few local stores in Palm Beach County and Broward County. Now, working those local store deals, that's, it's not easy. So congratulations and congratulations on Walmart too. That's definitely not easy. Can you tell us, um, you know, how did you work with the local stores? Did you already have a network of maybe places you, you shopped or did you have to go in and say, hey, I'm going to give this on consignment, see how it does, and then they just fell in love with you. Well, most of them probably, when they see, they like go crazy because they've been around a lot of stuff like this, and they, some of them have never seen most um, product in, in this way. So as they, 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 when they saw it, they're like, okay, they're ready to take it. Most of them, we have to negotiate and go back and forth before they actually take it and see what's going on. But most of them, when they, when they see it, they, they, they're ready because... They have got a lot of product like this, but they have never seen or smell anything like this. And plus we gave our samples to, to them yeah. so they can try. So we, we went there in person and we actually presented the product for them to have a visual a smell, feel. And like Neil said, we gave them samples, but the immediate response was, yeah, we, we, we didn't have a difficult time getting it uh, accepted. And the consignment was one of the ways to do it too for most of the stores. They took it on consignment. So they're going to pay um, after. A few paid up front, but uh, most of them did on consignment. All right. And are you guys, if you know, are there any shop owners um, out there? Are there particular stores you want? Like, let's say, let's say Jerk Paradise, free commercial right now. Say, <laughs> hey, I want to add soap. Listen, I'm going to send this to print. Um, it, you know, <laughs> can it be any business? Are you guys looking for a select businesses um, to do deals with? We are open to anyone who is willing to assist us with getting the product out there. Um, they can reach us through uh, www.lovemail.com or my email, which is lovemailbodycare.com. I know you have that in the, the link be below. Instagram. But we're open to anyone who is willing to, you know, put our products in the store. We'll do it on consignment. We also go to um, markets. Uh, we are currently uh, enrolled to go to the Rust Market in Lake Park next weekend. And we've gone as far as Invest Fest in Atlanta. Uh, that was our largest event uh, in August. We, if you're familiar with who EYL is, another popular podcast. So we, we did um, go there and we've also gone to a few other events. Oh man, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, we definitely know who EYL, 
David never sleeps. Uh, you know, if it's black business, just trying to educate and better our people, we definitely, you know, do that. Now, you had said Walmart, and I had mentioned Amazon. Let me just see. Let me see if I can start up some beef. Is there any issue with Amazon? Um, or did you just, was Walmart just, you know, on the price more, you know, a better fit for you at this time? We chose Walmart because they didn't require us to be anything, um, whereas Amazon does. It's a monthly fee with them. Walmart doesn't until you've actually sold. So, yeah, that was the difference. Okay, okay. And and I know Amazon Consultants, because I know um, I, I have one that works with us and you know, people say, no, there's a way around it. There's always a different way of doing something. Amazon is just growing, but I definitely get it. If they don't get you with the upfront fee, they'll get you for when they sell the product. So, you know, it's just where we're, we're at right now. Now, this soap, it's made in Florida, but are the chemicals coming from Jamaica? Are they coming from Ghana? Where, where are the ingredients coming from? Some of the uh, ingredients are imported, uh, like for example, the sea moss comes from St. Lucia. Uh, the other products are locally uh, purchased, shea butter, cocoa butter, olive oil. I even go to Walmart and so it's ironic that I'm selling through their website because most of my purchases are through Walmart's uh, website. Okay, now I know this is early, but um, when the business, you know, starts even making more traction and you are right there at the top of Walmart, you know, natural beauty, what is a community give back that you're doing or that you would like to do in the future? Funny that you would say that because Neil can uh, attest to it. I'm very passionate about uh, supporting needy, uh, you know, projects. For example, I personally donate to uh, the Goodwill and I'm in the process of preparing something for Haiti. So I would like to be more involved in things like that where we're giving back to communities that are in need or even to teach young children. For example, my 10 year old daughter, she makes these bracelets that I'm, I'm wearing. So I'm trying to come up with a program where she's involved and we're teaching young children how to be young entrepreneurs uh, eventually. But um, I don't know if my husband has any ideas. He's always talking about going back to Jamaica and doing something. So you have any plans um, to go to Jamaica and do anything? Um, my plan, the plan is right now is basically lab made products. That's the plan to push the products, take it back to Jamaica, whatever we can give back or whatever we can do. That's the plan, lab made products. Okay. And, yeah. Now I've been to Jamaica a couple of times. My wife is like, this is just like Africa. So it's a little different when you then go to Jamaica because we got, you know, friends and family. And of course, black folks globally want something for free. Let me try it out. And then let me try out another bar. And let me, you know, so is it the same way when you go back home, Neil, and you try to sell, you know, sell this and people say, first, I need to be a brand ambassador and they want something for, you know, nothing for the experience. Is it the same way? Yep. Yeah, basically. It's the same way. Actually, we have a lady that's going back home and she already requested a wholesale order to take back with her. So we we're hoping that will be a, an avenue for us to start pushing more products as an introduction into the country. But we do actually have an avenue right now where somebody's uh, proposing taking the product back home. Now, I can't tell you guys how I have these conversations or know this information but I'm thinking about you with um, certain people who are incarcerated. And, you know, a lot of, we go after government grants and uh, government RFPs, contracts. Have you guys looked at the, the prison market? Because, you know, they're always looking for vendors and they don't do enough black business. Interesting, this is, that's very informational. Yeah. I've never actually looked at it. And I'll, tell, I'll be totally honest with you. Um, we can definitely create product to fit any demographics or any market, but the, the herbal products tend to be on the higher end. As you know, the health industry is an $8 billion industry, so there's always room for growth. But the lab milk product is more like $8, $9 for a bar. I wasn't thinking that they would be interested in something like, you know, but now that you've said it, food for thought. 
Yeah, and maybe it's even the shavings, um, you know, the, the stuff that you can't use and then you put the package for anyone. Um, I've given many tours to kids in jail, but I'll tell you, I'm going to be like that Richard Pryor uh, joke. If I'm in there, I'm not showering. I'm, I'm stinky and everything. But if I had to use soap, that little thin piece of soap that they give, that's just not enough. So I don't know if that's a don't go to jail kids <laughs> reminder or don't go longer than 24 hours, however you want to take that. But yeah, they, they need soap too. And if there's even, you know, you have to look at how the government contracts are set up. And if we're having a teachable moment, I'll tell everybody, I've told my audience before, the government has put, they've given companies like mine $40,000 just to create a Twitter. They have plenty of money. And in that contract where they gave that 40,000, you could not make one tweet. So they know how to waste our money real well. So you never know at what price point they'll buy, you know, cause you, they have to do so much business with our community, but enough of us have to go after, you know, their, their dollars. Now you have the soaps, you have other skincare products. Is this going to be, Hey, we're just going to do maybe, you know, a dozen products or we want to do, you know, the sky's the limit and we just want to add on and add on. How many SKUs do you want to have? Well, it's definitely a scalable uh, line of business. And currently we have um, body scrubs, body butters, um, we have body bombs. So approximately six or eight products right now. And um, I don't anticipate scaling it beyond eight until we have a larger uh, market base, of course. But it's definitely a scalable product and there's room for growth. So we'll see. But I, to, just to go back to the prison uh, conversation, it's very good that you're educating us about that today because we never gave that a thought, but now that you have, I will certainly look into it. But um, yeah, it, that's something I will, I'm, I'm quite, quite interested in now that you've mentioned it. It's very good at educating us about the $40,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, and if you want more information, and again, you guys have the same things are available no matter where you are, at least in America. If you go to your local, PTAC, P-T-A-C, you can just Google that wherever it's local. They can help you with stuff like that. SCORE locally can help you with that, as well as SBA. Don't take the PPP loan, you guys, if you don't have to. Um, it's all a setup. When were they there to help us when we really needed it? But um, they, you know, these are all free things that if you contact them, and hopefully you get somebody good who wants to help you. These are government workers pretty much and they have to help. And so this is free that you can go to. And I have more information if anybody wants it. It's out there on YouTube, send you a link if you ask me. Now with the business um, and it's a, something local, are there any maybe festivals we'll be able to catch you at now that things are becoming more normal, people are going out. I mean, we're in Florida, so it's hard to tell, but I'm telling you, we're spoiled out here. Um, when we flew, when we flew in. We were like, we were scared. We thought we were in a movie. Like, huh? So, I mean, are, are there any you know festivals that you guys plan on being at where people can kind of connect and um, maybe even buy a big order off you? So, like I mentioned earlier, on the every third Saturday, there's a Rust Market in Lake Park that we just signed up for. We will be in attendance there the next. Uh, one that's happening, I think it's the 22nd of November, but it's the third Saturday of every uh, month until April. In addition to that, there's also a farmer's market in Wellington that we're trying to be a part of uh, that runs until April as well. And we were initially signed up to be a part of the Jerk Festival for all the Jamaicans out there. You're, you're very familiar with what the Jerk Festival is in Fort Lauderdale. But unfortunately, because of COVID, that got pushed back for a later date. So when that comes back up, then we're definitely going to be a part of that, but we're just waiting for the date. And that's in Broward County, by the way. I can already hear one of my friends say, because I, I was ready to go to that, kind of was like, I was, you know, I said, wait, hold on. COVID <laughs> came the seasoning and the spice and everything and the fire, you know, this is where to keep it going. But I don't know anything about science, so to, to, to each his own. Well, you guys, Check out the links in the description box, wherever you're at. Um, also, maybe this couple will have a book out, maybe, you know, soon, how we work together and built this empire as a couple. 
you know, we need more couples. We need to highlight this uh, black love and how we're working together because it's surely not an easy thing to do. Um, and we have to show each other grace. But if you guys have any last words, feel free to share with the audience. Uh, shameless plug, we, we are in the process of preparing uh, Christmas gift baskets for, for the holiday. For those who would like to purchase, uh, we do have that available. That's about to be on the website. And I would love for everyone to go to at LabMail Body Care and follow us and also, uh, you know, help us to reach our goal and our dream of becoming the body care uh, king and queen of Palm Beach County. Right. Okay. <laughs> I like that. King and queen. Yes, yes. You guys and got the game. I, oh, go ahead. I want to thank you spe specifically for giving us the opportunity to talk about our product. And uh, we look forward to maybe having another interview with you on a larger platform. Well, thank you. Thank you. This goes out, you guys, to, I don't know, everywhere you can hear a podcast, uh, YouTube, and a few of the stations in Africa that pick us up. We're thankful to be on. So make sure you share this game. It will change somebody's life. Be blessed, y'all. Hi, guys. I'm Kai Gabiam from the Diaspora Channel, a lover of Africa. If you love Africa as well, and you would love to visit one day or to relocate to Africa, there is a course out there for you. And this course is my first trip to Africa, a course well put together by a seasoned traveler, Kellen Cash Coleman. This course is designed to prepare you to travel better, which will save you both time and money. And the great news is this course Cost only $20, guys. It can't get any better. Go right now and enroll to this course at www.diversifygame.com. Don't miss out. Dang.